All right, today we're gonna to be setting up a 2D rotate here with the Fanuc robot. I'm gonna start by recording the home position in my program. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna give the robot an instruction to tell it to start searching. I'm gonna press F1 instruction, go to an option called touch sensor. Press enter on touch sensor and select search start. Now it's asking for a value here. The first number here after search start is gonna be your schedule number for your touch. So I'm using touch schedule number three. For a PR, I'm gonna use PR number 17. What I'm gonna do now is get the robot into position for my search. So bring the robot down into position here for my search. I'm gonna record a point. I'm gonna make it a J motion with a fine termination. Now I'm gonna record another point in the exact same location. However, this point is gonna be a linear motion with a fine termination. I'm gonna change the position ID number to match the previous position ID number. It's important to have two points at the exact same location in space when teaching touch sensing. The first point is your robot to get to that location. The second point is your robot searching for that location. To put the instruction in for the robot to search, cursor to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice and go to an option called search. It's going to ask for a direction. In this example here, we're gonna have the robot search towards me, which is Y plus. So I would select Y plus. What we're gonna do now is move the robot into position for the second Y direction to search. I'm gonna record two points at this location. Again, the first point is the robot getting there. And the second point is the robot searching from there. I'm gonna change the position ID numbers to match. I'm gonna cursor to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice and select search. Again, we're coming towards me, so I'm gonna select the Y direction point. After that, I'm gonna bring the robot up to a safe location away from the part. This is just gonna be an air motion. And now I'm gonna bring the robot down into position for the other direction for my search. In this example, the part can move in the X and Y and rotate. So I brought the robot into position. I'm gonna record this with a J motion with a fine termination. And I'm gonna record another point in the exact same location. However, this point will be a L motion with a fine termination. And I'm changing the position ID number to match the first point. Again, you want one point to get there and the second point in the same location to search from there. Cursor to the end of your line, press F4 choice and select search. This example, I'm gonna search X minus. So I'd select minus X. That's my first X. Now I'm gonna teach my second X. So I'm gonna bring the robot down to position for my second search. I'm gonna record two points in the same location. I'm gonna change the position ID numbers to match. And I'm cursoring to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice and select search. Now I'm gonna search an X minus. Now, a 2D with rotate requires two searches in two different search directions. I have two in the Y and I have two in the X. I'm gonna tell the robot to stop searching. F1 instruction, go to an option called touch sensor and select search end. What I'm gonna do now is move my robot into a position away from the part and I'm gonna record this with a J motion. Now the next motion points I'm gonna record are my approach, my weld start, my weld end, and my escape point. At any point, if my part were to move, I would like those points to move with my part. To give the robot that instruction, press F1 instruction, go to touch sensor, F1 instruction, touch sensor, and select touch offset. I'm gonna use PR17, and now I'm gonna teach my program like normal. I'm gonna bring the robot down to my approach or my weld start. I'm gonna record my weld start. I'm gonna bring the robot to my weld end. I'm gonna record my weld end. I'm gonna bring the robot to an escape point. 
I'm going to record that. After I recorded those points, I'm going to send the robot back home. Before I send the robot back home, I'm going to tell it to stop offsetting my points. I don't need to shift my home position. To stop the offset, press F1 instruction, go to touch sensor, and select touch offset end. I'm going to record another point, change the position ID number to one to send the robot back home. I'm going to verify that my touch schedule is set properly. I am set for a 3D shift and rotate. I want to change this to a 2D shift and rotate. I verified my master flag is turned on. Everything is set properly in my schedule. And now I'm going to run my program. Adjust my speed and run the program. Now the first time I execute the program, the master flag is turned on so the robot learns the location of the part. It's going through the touch, it did my Y direction, and now it's doing my X direction. It's done with the search, and now it's going to go down the program path that we just taught. Once this program is complete, I'm going to go into my master flag in my touch schedule, and I'm going to turn that to the off position. The first time we execute the program, we have the master flag on so the robot can learn the location of the part. The second time we run the program, we turn the master flag off. It's always a good practice to run the program with the master flag turned off before moving the part. This way, if there is any issue with your program, you do not have to touch up your points. So this is the first time we're running the program with the master flag turned off. The robot's gonna run down its top path. And when this program's complete, we're gonna shift the part in two different directions as well as rotate it. And you're gonna see how the 2D with rotation works for touch sizing. Program's complete. I'm gonna move the part in X and Y and rotate the part. Now I'm gonna run the program again. Do not turn the flag back on. If you turn the flag back on, you could compromise your program points in your program. The robot is going through the program. It touched in Y, it's touching in the second X direction now. It's gonna compare that data to the original taught position. And you'll see now the robot travels down the path that it was taught, following the new orientation of the part. This is how a 2D with rotation works with a FANUC cobot.